In this video, I'm going to talk about audio in Quill. How to import audio, adjust the volume of audio, spatialize audio, fade audio, move audio, and mute audio. The first step is importing audio, which can be done by pressing this button in the timeline or layers window. From here, navigate to your audio track and hit select. Once you import your audio, you can hear it by playing your timeline. You can also hear it by scrubbing back and forth along the timeline. In the timeline layer, you can see the waveform emitted by the audio. By default, you can hear the audio track from all around, regardless of where you place it in the scene and how big you make it. This is good for having a background song in your animation, but it's not good if you want to add sound effects that happen in a specific area with 3D volume and depth. To adjust your audio settings, hit this little audio button on the left of your layer. From this menu, you can adjust different aspects of your audio track. Loop is self-explanatory and will loop your audio track when it reaches the end. Gain will adjust the volume of your audio track. You can adjust this by pressing up and down on the right analog stick. By checking Spatialize, your audio will now exist as a 3D object. This means that while it's playing, you can move it from left to right and hear the music go from your left to right ear. You can control the properties of this 3D sound with the attenuation and the modifier tabs. Under attenuation, you can control the fall off. With linear attenuation, the fall off will be linear. When you're in the green zone, it will be the loudest, and the further you get, the quieter it will become until you're outside of the red area completely. With the min and max tabs, you can adjust the minimum size of the audio and the maximum range. By playing it now, we won't hear anything because we're outside of the red circle. But by getting closer, we'll begin to faintly hear it, and as we get towards the green area, it will become very loud. By pressing the attenuation tab again, you get logarithm sound. These are similar to linear, but the falloff should be quicker. Under modifier, you can control the shape of the surrounding sound. The default is a sphere, but you can change this to either a cone or a frustum, which is more of a pyramid shape. These shapes can be adjusted with the inner and band controls. From the timeline window, you can adjust the volume of your audio track with the volume slider here. At zero, it will make your object invisible and it will completely mute it. However, by disabling the visibility on the timeless track, it will not mute it. You can mute all tracks with the mute button here. If you want to fade in your audio track, here's how to do it. Start by placing a key at the beginning of your timeline with the opacity keys showing. Set this key to zero. Now, your audio track will be muted. Advance in the timeline to where you want the music to fade in and place another key. And now put this key to max volume. Make sure to change your first key from stepped to any of the other options, like linear. Now, when you play back your animation, the volume will slowly rise until you hear it fully. You can also move your audio through the scene by using the transform selection here. By placing a transform key here, and then advancing in the timeline and placing another transform key over here, the audio will now travel through the scene and you hear it move from one ear to the other. Audio is a super important part of working in Quill, especially if you're making a short film. But keep in mind that this audio will not export and it will not capture in your videos. So if you want to share a video with audio, do a capture with a screen recording software like Shadow Play or OBS.